Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this video is a quick tutorial on setting up a network printer. I will also cover troubleshooting common network printer issues after you set it up. So if you're interested, let's get into it. So before we set up a network printer, just take note of these two important things that you need. Of course, you need a network connection, it can be Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and you would need a static IP address to assign to the printer. Since we are doing this in the workplace, it is so much better to connect the printer via Ethernet because it provides more reliable connection compared to Wi-Fi. So when you're connecting the printer to Ethernet, also make sure that the Ethernet port you're connecting the printer to is on the appropriate VLAN. Most companies have a separate VLAN for the printers, some might not, so make sure that the port is configured properly. Once the port is all set, just plug in the Ethernet cable and connect the printer. And the Ethernet port for the printer is typically at the back or at the side. Also make sure that the port is lighting up once you plug the Ethernet cable in. Then the next step is to assign the printer an IP address. We use a static IP address instead of dynamic for printers because we want the printer's address to remain the same even when it reboots, making it easy for computers to always find and connect to it. So configuring an IP address for a printer varies with the different make and model, but you can usually find this under settings or administration. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a small HP computer. So under the menu, I'm just going to find settings. I'll select that and I'm going to find network settings or something related to network. Like in here, it says networking, so I'm selecting that and then I'm selecting Ethernet and then you select TCP IP and select the IPv4 settings. This is where you can configure and set up the IP address. Also make sure to set up the primary and secondary DNS as well. So it would look like this, for example, just type in your IP address here. I'm also going to show you what the settings looks like on the bigger printer copier machine like this. Okay, so go to the menu and in this make and model, it's under administration instead of settings. So just look for that and select administration. And let's find something that says network. It should be under network settings. So for the copier printer machine, it's under the embedded jet direct menu. So select that one. And as you can see in here, there is a TCP IP settings and you can select the IPv4 settings in here. This is where you can set up the IP address, subnet mask and the gateway. Okay, so let's go to the next step. And since we are in a business environment, we'll want to configure this printer on a print server for centralized management. Okay, so go to your print server in your company. Open print management by searching for it in the start menu. Under print servers, right click on your server name, then select add printer. Then select add a TCP IP or web services printer. Click next and under the type of device, select TCP IP device. Then type in the printer's IP address, the same as the one that you've set up on the network printer. Click next and let Windows detect it. If prompted, install the correct driver for your printer and choose whether to share the printer so users can access it easily. Okay, so the next step is to add the printer to your Windows PC. Okay, so I'm on Windows 11 and it might look different if you're still using Windows 10 because there's a few differences in the settings now and how it looks. So just type in the control panel in here and select devices and printers. And then for Windows 11, find printers and scanners and select that. Usually for Windows 10, you will see it up here and it will say add a printer. So in here, just select printers and scanners and click on add device. And since we haven't connected it yet, it's a new setup, it's not going to find it. So we have to add the device manually. So let's click on this one. And there are two ways in adding a printer. So if you have a print server at work, you can add it through the print server name. So you can select this one and type in double slash your print server name. For example, print server slash the host name of your printer. For example, printer01. If you don't have a print server, you can add it through IP address. 
and select this one. Add a printer using an IP address or host name. Click on next. And under device type, select a TCP IP device and type in the host name or IP address. For example, 192.168.1.5. And when you click on next, it's going to try to connect. And if there's no issues, it'll say it connected successfully. Okay, now if you're having trouble setting up your network printer, here are some common issues and how to fix them. Okay, for example, you just finished setting up your printer and it doesn't show up on the network. First step is to ensure the printer is powered on and connected to the network, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. If there's still an issue, check the printer's IP address by printing a network configuration page from the printer settings. You can check there if the IP address was set up correctly. And if not, if it's getting this a PIPA or it's not getting an IP address, maybe check the port, the Ethernet port where the printer is connected or check if it has the correct VLAN. You can also try pinging the printer from your PC. So you can open the command prompt and type in ping and the printer IP address. If there's no response, the printer may not be connected properly, so you can restart the printer or reseat the Ethernet cable. Another common issue is if the printer appears offline. For this issue, you can try opening control panel, go to the device and printers, right click your printer and ensure that use printer offline is unchecked. If that was already unchecked, you can restart the print spooler service by pressing Win and R button, then type services.msc and hit enter, and then scroll down to print spooler, right click and select restart. Another common issue is that printer is not showing up on the other computers after you have set it up, and it would typically show this error message. So the solution for this is to make sure that the printer sharing is enabled on the print server. So go to your print server and go to control panel, select network and sharing center, then select advanced sharing settings. Look for file and printer sharing and enable that. And after that, you can test if it shows up on the network now. And you can open run by pressing Windows and R button and type the printer server name. For example, double slash print server name slash the printer name. Okay, so that's a quick tutorial on how to set up a network printer and troubleshooting the common network printer issues. So if you have any issues regarding printers, please let us know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.